Okay, so it's time to perform the very first modification to this otherwise completely stock uh, 460 engine. Um, our aim here is going to be to try to improve the efficiency of the of the engine. And right now, uh, I'm going to do it as economically as possible. So I'm not trying to spend a bunch of money. Um, the first two things that I will be doing before the next test is I am going to replace uh, the filter element with uh, this here. So this is a, a K&N um, unit that I borrowed from a truck at the wrecking yard. Um, I'm gonna clean it up and then I'm gonna replace the stock paper filter element that I have right now. Uh, the second way will be um, there appears to be a restriction in this particular truck uh, in in this area here so um, where the two uh, pipes join apparently this section here funnels down over here so uh, the diameter uh, gets reduced um, the way that people deal with this is uh, they remove uh, this piece here and they'll uh, cut the, the, the piece where it's uh, funneling down um, once we've uh, taken care of that I believe the air will flow in more freely towards the engine and that should in theory have a positive effect on fuel mileage as well as uh, you know increased uh, acceleration and stuff like that but uh, we're not really worried about that right now so uh, yeah we're gonna go ahead and uh, take off this entire section here Okay, so okay, so this will be our first major operation. We're gonna remove this uh, intake pipe here. I'm just gonna climb on top of this truck because I suffer from short people problems. And otherwise, I can't reach. All right, let's just undo this. A few bolts here. And I should get the pipe out. Yeah, don't forget to do this, uh, undo this bottom piece because then. Uh, it might break if you don't remove it. All right. And here we are. That comes out. That comes out. All right. You need to move that other piece carefully. I don't have money to replace this entire unit. There it is. Here we go. And as easy as that, we have got our first part of the project done. I want to take this inside clean it up, take it apart, and hopefully undo the, the restrictions here. All right, so as you guys can see, I have the intake system completely taken apart, and I wanted to show you guys the restriction that I was talking about. Um, this is the piece here that goes in between the two pipes. You can see how it uh, goes from a large opening and it funnels down on this section quite significantly. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a big deal. Um, I actually went ahead and measured uh, the opening here with a digital caliper and uh, this side here uh, measured out about uh, 55 millimeters and the other end uh, about 35 so it's about 20 millimeter difference. Um, I couldn't tell you why uh, Ford 
decided to use this piece or design it like this. I'm sure it has its purpose, but uh, it, it can't be for a performance because you know this is uh, this is uh, on the other side uh, in front of the throttle body, so uh, I can't see how this would help. But uh, yeah, uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, cut this piece here all around on on this side of the ridge that you see right here. Uh, you don't want to cut on this side because that is where the hose goes over and you tighten the clamp onto that. Uh, you cut on this side all around and hopefully that uh, removes the restriction. I'm going to go ahead and measure it out after I cut it. Okay, uh, let me show you guys what I ended up with. Uh, this is the two pieces that I cut off of the, of the intake, uh, the intake uh, connection. Um, this here is what I ended up with. Um, so you guys can see there's no more uh, funneling. Uh, part's not perfect of course because uh, my cutting was a little bit off. And also the casting of the part itself. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a lot better than it was. Uh, let me see if I can measure it and see. So previously, previous to me cutting it, it uh, measured about 35. And uh, after I cut, let's see on the smallest part. Let's see what the measurement is. Okay. Uh, 46 millimeters at the smallest part and measures about the same as the as the other uh, as the front piece so yeah about 50 millimeters now uh, now the only thing that I have left to do is uh, clean up that filter and install it back and see what happens all right, so we're back and it's actually another day for me, but it's all the same to you. I wanted to show you, I got a little ahead of myself and I ended up installing the intake system again, pretty much bolting it back on and uh, I cleaned these up, actually cleaned up pretty nice. And I'm gonna put this in place of the, of the stock air filter which I uh, I had recently replaced so it's kind of clean but doesn't serve the purpose of our test so same thing I'm gonna go ahead and put this put this on and uh, it's the moment of truth That's how it sits in there. Just gonna go ahead and bolt this back up, tighten up all the clamps, and we should be ready to go. All right, I believe we're ready. Um, everything's uh, back on, tightened up. The new filters in place. Uh, <clears throat> just to recap, all we've done so far is uh, cut off the little restrictions on this uh this junction here and install the KNN filter and we're gonna see if that uh, has any positive gains uh, with our MPG if we drive the truck responsibly 